Hi, my name is Felix Buendía and I'm a lecturer at Universitat Politécnica de Valencia. Uh, and today I'm going to present uh, a, work, uh, a research work related to the production of healthcare educational dashboard based on clinical data. This research work is uh, performed in collaboration with other researchers from institutions such as Universidad Politécnica de Madrid or Universidad Complutense. As commented before, the current war is focused on the production of uh, healthcare educational dashboards, which can be defined as technological applications that provide clinici uh, clinicians and healthcare professionals with data to utilize and explore, supporting their clinical uh, uh, or management decisions. In this sense, the main purpose of the war consists in providing a workflow approach addressed to producing this type of educational dashboards that can be useful during the extraction of medicine students or improving their uh, the professional staff ability. In this context, two basic tools are used to enable the production of healthcare uh, educational dashboards. First, Clavi as a data collection management tool that allows us to gather multiple healthcare information source, sources and convert them into reconfigurable digital collection. After that, after that uh, dashboard technologies in form of JavaScript uh, libraries have been used to visualize healthcare data. In the next slides, I will describe the different uh, stages in this dashboard production workflow. First, we we'll start with the repository uh, creation that is commanded by a clinical expert and who carries out the selection and creation of the content to support the dashboard. Once this uh, repository is available, these experts can collaborate with IT developers in order to uh, perform the infrastructure provision activity that uh, is addressed to the deployment of the required technological infrastructure to support the target educational dashboard. For this purpose, the developer can integrate different uh, uh, artificial intelligence algorithms, for example, as well as uh, visualization components. Finally, uh, the infrastructure that provides from this stage will provide the expert with mechanisms to apply suitable algorithms on the data stored in the repository that is performed in the dashboard generation activity, in which the expert calibrates the relevant parameters, parameters of the algorithm to enable the actual generation of the dashboard to be used by different uh, students or professionals, healthcare professionals. To illustrate the proposed production workflow, an example of case study is presented based on the, due, on the use of uh, synthetic data coming from the Synthea data source. First, an scale of this healthcare or synthetic data is displayed to show the selection of patient information such as uh, from demographic data or attribute or also a medical condition or disorders. This, uh, uh, this uh, data sources will be will allow us to create the repository and then we can select the data sources in order to visualize an example of dashboard that help researchers to set up the type of uh, patient attributes. In this case, for example, in the screenshot, we, s we can see the use of the condition parameter in order to compare the appearance of cases with these conditions. Each, uh, each case can be analyzed uh, in order to display the multiple, uh, the linked data sources and display some of these uh, details. Finally, I will summarize by concluding and uh, commenting the introduction of this approach to produce educational dashboard and an example of uh, synthetic clinical data that is used to test the approach that solves the capability 
to generate different type of task board according to different or several attributes, these pipes of results are still preliminary.